and desperately trying to figure out a way to control them and it doesn't work so now there's an alternative and the alternative is the number one step is be quiet practice silence when you're quiet and you're practicing being silent and then you naturally turn your attention inwards who is aware of being still and silent who's aware of it so your attention goes into the one the seer the observer that is aware of being quiet so the more your attention goes towards the observer and that becomes your focal point and since the observer is simply observing, which is you down deep, you're simply observing, then you're giving yourself a chance, an opportunity to be able to observe the stream of thoughts that are going through your mind. Because you got into this practice of being quiet, being still, and remaining in this place of observation since you're getting used to doing that then it becomes easier to watch thoughts traveling through your mind now since thoughts are are in a stream and they're fast you don't need to really pay attention so much about what they are you're simply aware of thoughts going through your mind. Emotions, they're slower. They don't come and go so fast. And they more have to do with your body, physical reaction. You react to it physically. You don't react to the thoughts physically so much, but you do react to the emotion. So, they're easier to detect and identify in comparison to the thoughts because their movement is slower. They come slower and they go, they go away slower. So, when the fear comes, since, but, you know, but let me, let me explain something. Number one is you have to do the, the steps. One, two, three, four. Be quiet, be still, be the observer. If you don't do those things, then four, five, six is not going to work. But then, so you have been doing your work, and now when an emotion comes like fear, you're simply aware of its existence because you're doing the work regularly. So fear comes and you're getting contracted and you have butterfly in your stomach and you're just kind of, your gut is funny and you're getting the shakes or whatever is happening. However fear comes to you, everybody's different. Then you're simply in that moment when you're aware of it because it's an uncomfortable situation so you say fear is here, fear is present, fear is visiting me. Fear is visiting me. So you are staying at your position. You're the observer. Observing. And fear appears. And you simply acknowledging its presence. You're not saying, and you have to pay attention and be savvy in your wording with, when that happens. You don't say, I'm afraid anymore. 
you simply say fear is here and fear is visiting me. And in that transaction, you separate yourself from it. And you're staying at your position. Fear is here, fear is visiting me. And in that, fear loses its power. It can no longer remain there because it's being identified, it's being watched. Again, let me go over this again. Don't come back and tell me this, please. Well, you said, po think positive, or you said, push it away. I didn't say think positive or push it away. I just said, simply be aware of it and say, it's here, it's visiting me. Acknowledge its presence. That's what I said. I didn't say push it away. I didn't say resist it. I didn't say try to shove it under the blanket. I didn't say anything like that. I just said simply be aware of it and acknowledge its presence. It's here, it's visiting me. And it will lose its power. It disappears. It becomes like a patch of clouds that's passing in front of the sun, you can't see the sunshine, but the, the cloud will go away. It won't stay. Then anxiety will come or worry will come and your mind is going into the future. You worry, what do you worry about? You worry about something is going to happen. You're never worrying about the current time, the present time. Your worry is something is going to happen in the future. That's what you worry about. You're not worrying right now about something is happening right now. Because right now, you're dealing with what is happening. You don't worry about right now. You only worry about future. And future, it's not even future. It's the past. So you're really worrying about the past. Why? Because since future doesn't exist, literally doesn't exist, it's only now, you're projecting something from the past into the future. It's a projection of an event of the fa past into the future. Worry is simply something from the past getting projected to the future by the mind. And a lot of us are so used to it, we're so much into being worried that it's become a part of your life. Some of you have been doing it all of your life. So it's kind of ingrained in your psyche. And you're so addicted to it. And you call your daughter, your friend, your mom, Oh, I'm so worried. Oh, I'm worried. You're always worried. And if everything in the world is fixed, you're still going to worry about something else. Because it's a robotic reaction. It's a robotic program. Because there's no awareness there. 